February was a very busy month for me. Uh, I had the busiest convention that I've ever worked, followed by a flash convention, so there was a lot of prep that needed doing, as well as what became a backlog of commissions. This led me to working through most of February. Now, do you remember that happy little video I did about burnout and how you need breaks to work in a proper, efficient, and healthy way? Well, I mean, I did take breaks. But I didn't get out of the house nearly as much as I'd wanted to. <laughs> and, you know, towards the end of the month, I could tell that it was still taking a toll on me. You know, to be honest, I only took about five to six days where I did, like, nothing art-related at all and just lounged and rested and stuff. And, I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure one of those was a depression day. I'm pretty sure there was a, there was a low day. Either way... You know, right on leap year, on the 29th of February, I decided, you know, hey, I may still have two commissions left to finish, but I need to do something for me right now. <laughs> So this is my first time showing my process of a fun challenge called the Draw This In Your Style Challenge. For those who may not be familiar with the challenge, pretty self-explanatory, someone draws a piece and invites anyone who may want to to draw the same piece, but in their art style. I've done a few of these challenges before, but they were on my own time and they were just studies in my sketchbook that I don't plan on posting at any point. It's a really nice exercise because it gives me an opportunity to draw something for fun, but I don't have to think too hard about it. When I do a lot of commissions in a row, I get sort of in like a little box and I find it hard to make, you know, a different kind of piece for a bit. I get into a bit of an art block on uh, which character to draw, how to draw them, what pose, what colours, the composition. It, it's, it was really healthy to just use that day to draw something that wasn't a commission. I used it to reset myself, and I honestly think it helped me go back to my commissions the next day, you know, feeling a bit more fresh, a bit more ready to do art for people, you know? <laughs> so the original piece is by an artist I met last year tabling at a convention. Here is their Instagram handle. We'll call them Artsy in this video. They're really lovely, they work incredibly hard, they're so nice to talk to, um, and I love their character design. This character's name is Sapphire, and it was a really good exercise for me personally to draw her because her design is so detailed. You know, there's a lot of clips, stickers, trims and ribbons, you know, there's even more details, you know, in the background. I am a lazy artist. <laughs> I will readily admit this, I am a very lazy artist, I'm very stuck in my ways. It was really good for me to actually focus on the smaller details of a character and their design. For once. <laughs> now even when I finished the piece, I still miss details from the original, like the clips in her space buns or the trim on her gloves. Uh, I don't mind too much that I missed those things, although it is a shame, I did forget them, it was getting really late. I don't mind because it does also stay true to my own art style. Lazy! <laughs> the colour palette was really fun to work with for me. I love pastels and I love blue and pink. Blue and pink has always been a winning combo for me. I love how they work together. I love how they look. I love how the white and yellow makes for nice little accent colours so as not to drown the viewer in pink and blue. <laughs> I tried not to feel guilty doing this challenge instead of commissions that day because the quality of my work had gone down. I had noticed this myself. I needed that reset. I love the challenge that commissions bring and the range of commissions that I receive, characters that I would never get around to drawing otherwise. But it is also nice to go back and draw something, you know, a little self-indulgent. And that's what this piece is, entirely self-indulgent. It's like Artsy made a character specifically to my tastes. Doing a challenge like this also puts my own work and improvement into perspective. How each of us as artists can take a character, a pose, a composition, and each make something entirely different from the same base. I love, for example, how Artsy draws eyes. 
I love the shading and the colours and, like, the stylistic approach to the eyelashes. I think they're gorgeous and they look fantastic. The way I do eyes is very different. The way I shade them, the way that uh, they're shaped, the way I do eyelashes, very different. Lazy. But as beside the point. <laughs> It's just really cool to see those differences in style. That's why I love the Draw This In Your Style challenge so much. Because my favourite thing about conventions is going around the artist tables and seeing all the different styles, all the different influences, all the different colours that people use. It's gorgeous. It's so good. When looking at my own piece, um, the pose was very fun, very fun to draw. The character looked very cheeky in the original, so I tried to put that into her body language as well. I'm trying to draw more dynamic poses myself and adding more movement into my work. Um, you'll notice that I started with a traditional sketch underneath. Honestly, that's just easier for me nowadays to start a sketch traditionally and then transfer it, um, transfer that base into my digital stuff. That's how I do all of my prints, that's how I do all of my stickers. That's just what works best for me personally. I do kind of wish, looking back, that I had put a little more uh, definition into the shading. Um, particularly the shading on the hair. Like, I kind of washed it out a bit too much. I blended it out a little more than I needed to. I'm really fond of the cell shading kind of look. Um, I do on some of my pieces, not all of them, but I kind of regret not going back and just putting just, ooh, just a little bit more definition in there. It would look so good. Also, the space buns look like cabbages. There, I said it. <laughs> the little bits of hair that I drew just look like leaves to me. I drew it badly. I can't unsee it now. They just look very separate from the different bits of the hair. They look like cabbages. With that being said, though, I did finally uh, try out a new shading technique that I had been wanting to try out for a while, which was by using a multiplier layer and the clipping group setting. A lot of people may be thinking, why haven't you tried that before? That's a really basic technique. I'm like, I'm lazy! <laughs> I'm lazy, I don't try things. I'm stuck in my ways. <laughs> You might think I'm 26 years old. You're wrong. I'm 85. <laughs> it really cut down on the process time for me after I figured out, um, you know, how to do it properly. And it made, like, a really cool effect, which I liked a lot. I will be doing it more uh, later on, now that I've actually figured out how to do it in a way that doesn't make me hate it. <laughs> you know, then I did my little classic luminosity on everything, you know, to make it soft and shiny, into my aesthetic, and BAM! There it goes. It was a really fun process, and it was really um, rewarding as an exercise for me. I was able to try out a bunch of new stuff with my art style, and it was, it was just what I needed. We as artists are constantly changing and developing and experimenting with our art styles and finding what works best for us. Improvement is constant, and seeing artists influencing each other through this challenge and supporting that development, that experimentation, that improvement, I, I just think that's really cool. It's a really wanky way to put it, but it's really cool. <laughs> I like seeing artists like doing, supporting and influencing each other more directly through this challenge. It's really cool. I had a lot of fun with this piece, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. This certainly will not be my last Draw This In Your Style challenge, and I am very tempted to do one of my own in the future. I will be thinking about that for the next however long, <laughs> if I ever get the courage. You can see the final piece on my Instagram, uh, where I am a lot more active, as well as the original piece by Artsy. I highly recommend following them, because, you know, they're great. And maybe even taking part yourself, I highly recommend it. It was really fun. <laughs> as always, I hope you're having a lovely time wherever you are, and stay safe. Ta-ra! My housemates are home. Hey yo, you get some Taco Bell? Yeah. Hell yeah! Fucking now I need poop! <laughs>